Actually, bro, I told you they were roommates. Hold on. Y'all back again? It's like I saw you last week. Anyways, welcome back to my channel, you guys. Thank you so much for hopping on back in. Hopping in back on. Anyways, thank you guys for coming back. Um, I have another video for you guys. Um, today, I'm going to be showing you guys how I sketch. Y'all probably don't care, but I did get a comment saying that they would like to know kind of my process on how I do my little fun sketches. Now, I do want to say that I don't always use reference photos, but in this video, I do want to show you that I'm using two reference photos. One from an Instagram account um, that I'll link below, and then the other portrait is going to be of yours truly. Hello. Let's go ahead and jump into this. Um, if you have any questions... Um, I won't be able to see him during the video because it's not alive, but I'll try and answer him as soon as possible. Okay, let's go. What is up, y'all? I am back. Thank you guys so much for clicking back on. Um, I know I've been gone for a little while. What a vo. Um, anyways, I wanted to come at you with three different ways of sketching. Obviously, I already told you that before, but in this sketch, this is going to be straight from my head. This is me doing me, doing my thing. Um, but I wanted to show you guys my little process and kind of talk about it just a little bit. So, like I say, this is going to be a very simple sketch, just a simple face or whatever. I do these little things with the, the shading on the face that really is a telltale sign that it's from me uh, you know I do these weird shapes these weird patterns with my shading and they really make no uh, sense anatomy wise so a lot of them a lot of the shading that I make, you know, please don't take it as gospel because I know they don't make no dang sense. But it's really fun to do and sometimes using reference photos, you know, it will kind of, uh, I guess, corner me and not let me branch out that much. So with these little fun sketches, obviously I can do whatever I want. I'm not just, you know, strictly looking at one photo and having to copy the shading on there. So, for instance, the nose really makes no sense. Underneath the eyes makes no sense. But I love doing the shading underneath the nose as you can see that little line under there it's so cute now one question i get all the time is how do i learn how to do it how did i learn how to make these characters without looking at a photo and a lot of people are having trouble um kind of branching out and and kind of going on their own without looking at a reference now one thing you got to realize is this did not come natural to me y'all i had to learn realism i had to learn how to blend so i am no pro by any means but i definitely learned all that before you know changing the game up a little bit what i always say is you can't bake a cake without learning the simple recipe right so you learn the simple recipe and then you can make your own cake period you know what i'm saying Anyways, long story short is I did not happen to just stumble upon this style. It took years to kind of create something that looked like it was from me. So when people look at it, they're like, oh, that's black bean. Hello. Also, I failed to mention that this is a Crayola color pencil. I don't really like using pencil because I don't want to erase all the time. So this is the end of the drawing, at least the one from my head. So I hope you like it. I think it's cute. On to the second drawing. This one is inspired by Andy Does Your Hair on Instagram. He has awesome hair posts. Y'all go check it out. Anyways, I wanted to do a caricature with this guy because I loved his hair. I love how quaffy it was or whatever. Um, loved his eyebrows. His face was pretty easy to draw. Um, so this also takes a lot of practice, you guys. Like I said, I was you know heavy into realism. I wasn't amazing, but I definitely learned shapes and how to look at um, figures differently. So um, I go into it straight off the bat. I don't like to erase. Like I said, this is using Crayola color pencil because you can't erase it. Honestly, having not used a reference photo in quite a while before this drawing, I was kind of surprised how fast I did this. Um, it doesn't look exactly like the guy. Obviously, this is still very stylized, kind of in my little dilly daggy do or whatever. Um, but it's, it kind of looked like him, and I liked it. Um, overall, we're in the ugly stage right now, but this is just popping up another photo just to show you what I'm working with. But neck was kind of small, um, hair quaffy or whatever. Y'all, one thing I will say is do not go overboard in the original sketch. Please do not because, you know what, I get stressed out like everybody else does when they use a reference photo because it doesn't look like the person. Stop! Because you know what, you can always make it look like the person when you shade. Always press lightly until you are confident and then press hard with the overall outline. That's what I always learned and I, it works for me, especially with this blending part because the blending part is one of the hardest things to get right. You can get the outline perfect, but if the blending ain't cute, then it ain't cute, period.
Clearly, when you use reference photos, you make sure the shading looks exactly like the photo, so it looks like the human being that you're trying to articulate or whatever. Um, but obviously, do your own little thing to it. Make it into your style. Don't feel too restricted, especially when it's a stylized drawing. If you're doing realism, God help you, because I cannot. <laughs> but seriously, though, isn't the point of drawing and art having fun so you guys have fun do your thing don't don't stress it out too much um clearly it does not look like the guy at the moment um but towards the end when i add the little beard and stuff it starts to he starts to come out of his shell but like i said if you guys are going into too much detail in the beginning like i used to do that was one of my big issues is i would go into too much detail when i'd first sketch out the eye the nose the mouth and then i would be kind of lost everywhere else try and do your outline first a very light outline and then make everything deeper make sure you have your values set so i don't know what values is i just throw that word around a lot anyways i think it's like the darkness and stuff against everything so like make sure your darkness and your lights are there and where you know where they're at um but i'm not an art teacher because like i said i'm kind of stupid but um there's another there's a photo again obviously like i said it's it's kind of in my style i'm still doing my thing i went really lazy on the hair i went really lazy i I really did not feel like doing all these little quiff quaffs or whatever. Um, but, you know, it resembled hair, so that's all I cared about. Like I said, it's just a sketch. Um, but, like, like I said, oh, there's, okay, never mind, it's done. Hi, this is cute. Hi. It kind of looks like the guy, kind of not, but it's cute. Oh, that's me. Y'all, I'm doing me next. Ooh, look at me. That's me from the 70s. I know I'm a vampire, whatever. Anyways, this is one of my favorite ways of drawing. This one's kind of going off of a picture and completely disintegrating the face. As you'll see in the future, when I do the eyes in this drawing, they are completely weird. Everything is so weird about this drawing, but I love it. The picture was weird. Y'all, I don't know what I was thinking. I wanted to do one of those weird 70s cat pictures, and I thought it was cute, but then it ended up looking creepy, and I don't even have a cat. I don't, I'm allergic to cats. Anyways, let's go on with the face. Um, like I do my little boxy chin, my jawline. Um, Y'all see that hairline? <laughs> <laughs> or lack thereof. Anyways, I really like drawing like this. It kind of opens up my mind um, to different shapes you can do and different ways of drawing and making them kind of realistic in some ways, but very abstract and cartoony in others. It's just so fun. You know, and another question I get a lot, a lot, is, you know, how do I move away from reference photos? How do I um, make my own style? That is one of the hardest questions to answer, girl. Mm -mm, that is so hard. I've been drawing for so long now, I, probably since I was 11 years old, and this kind of style comes natural to me now. So not to sound cocky by any means, but when you draw for so long and you just have this distinctive um, kind of way of drawing, it's really hard to uh, go back to when you didn't know how to do it like this, if that makes sense. So what I would say is if you are one of those people that only know how to draw from reference, or if you're really trying to just kind of get the likeness, keep on doing what you're doing because you know what? That is one way of building your style is to go back to the basics and to do your thing. What I mean by that is keep on learning. Keep on. I'm learning every day. Every day I use a reference, I'm learning. Every day I use my head, I'm learning. So keep on doing what you're doing because your style will slowly grow from doing that. So keep on going. I will say, however, you know, copying somebody's style is just not the cutest thing ever. Um, obviously, you know, I love everybody that tags me in their things and say that I was an inspiration for this piece or so and so. I love that. It is amazing. It makes me so happy that people out there actually find my work inspiring. Um, but I have also been tagged in people who are, you know, drawing this and that and copying it, you know, line by line and maybe changing a couple colors and claiming as their own. Um, it's not cute. It's not cute. Um, obviously, I don't own a certain style by any means, um, but I I just find it, a, it's, it's plagiarism, and I want to be the nicest person ever, um, I want to inspire people, I don't want to shun people from, you know, creating, but let's be honest, like, it's not cute to copy, period. 
Anyways, I'm not trying to sound negative by any means. I'm just saying, if you are inspired by any artist, please tag them. Give them credit. Give credit to where it's due. That is all I'm saying. Anyways, back to this drawing, though. Um, I did this sweater really quick because I think when I was filming this, it was like 1 a.m. And I was like, uh-uh, no, ma'am. I'm going to go to bed and I'm going to scribble real quick and make you think it's a sweater. But this is the finished piece of that one, and I had so much fun. Um, it was cute. It was fun to do. And, um... Look at the face. <laughs> My forehead. <laughs> well, I hope you guys had fun sketching with me. If you guys have any questions or if you have an idea that I should do in a future video, please let me know. I'd love to do it. I think that's about it. Bye.